guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episode 5 of Miriko Chan. So it's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is it not sized correctly? I mean, it was supposed to be the same size as this one, but. Uh. All I hear is freaking Urara and, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, Kokoa and, um, Nino? Yeah, Nino? No, Miku. Miku. One of them. I, I, yeah, there's so many freaking names. Kind of more Kokoa than, um, what's her face? Yeah, this is basically if Coco was emo, and it's just, she's so adorable, I love it. So then my thing is, why haven't you, like... Well, I mean, I, I don't think it would. You seem like the type of child who would just want to be invested in it, unlike, you know, Rico, because girl is like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> She's just so fucking cute. Look at her. Well, yeah. In a way, you do. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
So now what do you do? You could be friends with them. <laughs> just hearing Kyrie Hondo in this, like, just makes me want to cry again because Project Tokyo Dolls died a couple of days ago. See, you should be friends with them. Hmm? Oh my god, she's so tiny. <laughs> Girl, she about to close that door on you. Told you. <laughs> Miko, get the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, but, like, still, Eula's gonna have good intentions, but, I mean, girl... God, get the fuck out. <laughs> you mean stalking? Because that's what we found out last week about them. Yosuba, that's her name. <laughs> How did that take me that long? I'm sorry. Thinking about, I'm like, what? What the fuck is her name? Me quintessential. <laughs> Not Nino, not me, go my other rescue. <laughs> it took me nine minutes. <laughs> I don't know how in the world that just popped up in my head. <laughs> well, of course she can. Why don't you just straight up tell Miku, hey, I see ghosts too, so you not by yourself. <laughs> the big one? Oh, shit.
Okay, then why the fuck hasn't Yula seen that ish yet? Come on now. At least warn her. Oh my god. No! Apparently not as special as Miku, cause like the shit that she see right now. Imagine if somebody walks in on these two. No, just knocked you out. Yeah, Miko, I don't think you really should have did that. But you had no choice. Mm -hmm. So still, you two relate to something. But, I mean, it's just going to take time. Yeah, like, you're not gonna fall in love with her, are you? I mean... Oh, God. <laughs> no! Oh, my God, baby! You know, I hope so too, because <laughs> big misunderstanding. <laughs> but definitely, you is going to be like, bitch, back the fuck off of me. <laughs> Probably because Hana liked to go in every store. Hey, I do too.
that? Let's just walk by it. She must have Alzheimer's. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. Are we doing Sudoku with the numbers? Or are they bingo numbers? No, it's really not okay if you leave. No, 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 no! That's considered rude! Something smells like it's burning. Hey! Unless you turn the heat on. Mm -mm. That number was a code. So he had to be her husband.
go shopping now. <laughs> okay, Eula, like I said, she's adorable. Very, very adorable, you know. I mean, because mainly because her staying voice is a lot of cute characters. Th her This character gives me, like, the scary cute vibes, which is what I love. That is literally my aesthetic in a nutshell because I like scary things and I like cute things at the same time. So your girl is like, yes, that's in the middle. Like, me together. Oh, my God. But I really hope that there is a day where Eula and Miko are able to see eye to eye and they're able to be friends. So hopefully that happens soon. Um... Love the fact that Miko returns to uh, the old lady home and that the old lady, once she got the code combination and opened it up, she kind of really remembered. I mean, it because to me it seemed like she had Alzheimer's and then because of the fact is you know, her husband kept showing her or telling her the numbers and then Miko typed it on her phone, she instantly went to the, you know, the safe, used the code, and then was able to like instantly remember stuff so I mean it, it was sweet very very sweet like oh I can't I was just so adorable oh my god but yes your girl wants one episode we technically kind of got it like last week but I need another episode where these three are hanging out and they're just going shopping I need it they so fucking adorable and I love them so much <laughs> Oh, yeah, remember when you was on a different line, Nico? <laughs> she sees real crazy ones. Well, obviously, that's Miku in a nutshell because Miku sees like. The really the most crazy ones and such. I mean, especially with the old lady, she's seen so many ghosts and spirits around her that it was really hard for her to find out, oh, hey, this person beside me, that's still a human. She's still alive. But, like, maybe, maybe Eula, she might see one of the crazier ones next week because Eula doesn't have, like, the, the special abilities that Mi uh, Miko does. So maybe, like, Eula might do something by the beginning of the episode to make her see some of the crazy shit that, you know, Miko sees on a daily night show, because, girl, I, I mean, but, like, still, if these two really come together and have a conversation about what the fuck they see, then that's when Yula will be able to understand her, like, oh, so you see some crazier shit than me. Like, okay, I see some crazy shit, but, girl, like, you, you see some even crazier shit, so there's gotta still be a reason of why, like, Miko, at the end of the day, no matter what, she sees some of the craziest shit. Because I imagine if you had that ability. I, I can't think of like I can think of like mediums and some uh spiritual ghost hunters who have seen like some crazy itch, but I, I cannot imagine like if it was me myself being able to see that and like, you know, you're having a normal conversation with someone and then boom, you just see something right then and there. I mean, the the thing is, like for me, the only like type of spiritual thing I've seen is like a spirit of one of my, um, it was my, I think my uncle, my great great uncle. Um, and then I've seen my grandmother, my mom's mom, and then my two dogs. So I've seen ish, but I, I haven't seen like crazy, crazy ish. Thank God it's never really happened like that. But to to see that, like it is interesting, but then at the same time it's scary because you don't want to do anything to bring something in your house that you don't want to do. So never ever fuck with a Ouija board, please. I'm I'm being serious about that. Hell, I, I know not to mess with one because I'm like, I'm not stupid and I ain't going to do that ish. But yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed this episode. Finally having Eula speak after, like, literally, what, four episodes? Because the last time we really saw her was episode one and such. But to finally hear her and literally have my Kokoa Yotsuba, Gabby, um, and everything, and, and Oshako, and, and, and any other play, <laughs> any other character who say you has voiced all in a nutshell in one little episode. But she's really adorable, and I just... 
I, I want to see these three hang out. That's all I fucking want at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Mariko Chan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode six. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, wherever you guys are. And of course, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.